What's happening ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I know it has been quite a while but I wanted to take a little bit of time today and basically regurgitate some really good information that local pro, my good friend and my coach Taylor Warren recently shared with me all about pace lining. Now if you're not familiar, pace lining is a technique used in groups to shelter each other from the wind. It allows your group to roll very, very fast and the individual on the front is doing the majority of the work while those behind them in the pace line are sheltered from the wind and able to get a draft, take a break, and then take over and take their turn later on in the cycle. Pace lining is usually used in a group ride setting when everybody is consciously working together to keep the speed high. Pace lining is also used quite a bit in bike racing. You will see it a lot in a lead out situation or in a major chase effort when an organized team is trying to bring back a group of riders off the front. Oftentimes they will have multiple riders doing a little bit of work at a time and the most efficient and effective way to do that is via a pace line. So recently we popped out on the Switchback Velo group ride and Taylor was kind enough to take the whole group and work us through some pace lining exercises. Now these tips are great for beginner cyclists that have maybe not worked in a pace line before and maybe have the goal to get out and do more group rides and a lot of those group rides typically include a smoothly rotating pace line now in order to rotate smoothly there are a few tips that i want to share with you guys to make sure your pace lines are fast efficient and done correctly so without further ado let's go ahead and dive in to my first tip number one would be not to accelerate too hard when overtaking the group so if you are the side of the pace line that is rotating into the front position you don't want to come through and actually accelerate because that ruins the flow of the pace line itself and what you cause is an acceleration behind you as well and that causes a weird slinking effect now on top of that you don't want to completely let off of the gas when you pull off of the front either because that can cause the same effect so number one don't accelerate too hard when overtaking and don't completely let off the gas once you do take over and pull off of the front speaking of pulling off that moves us to number two on the list so number two is always pull off into the direction that the wind is coming for example if the wind is coming from left to right like it is here in this example, you would want to pull off into the non-protected side. What this does is it offers the other riders and the faster moving part of the train to overtake with less effort or power output than you're already doing on the left side, the unprotected side of the train as you're dropping back. Of course with pace lining most of the time in a single rotating pace line like the one you see here you're going to have one train moving forward and the other is going to be slotting backwards now a critical component of a smoothly rotating pace line and an efficient one is keeping it really tight so what that means is you want to stay very close to the rider in front of you to maximize your draft and then also when you are overtaking the front of the pace line and about to take your turn on the front you want to start moving toward the slow moving train very early. What that allows you to do is maximize your draft during your pull and use just a little bit less energy to keep the speed up of the group. Number four is to communicate with your fellow riders. So you want to tell your fellow riders when you're last in the group so that they don't miss the train moving forward and that helps them not have to do an extra effort just to jump on the wheel of the last individual rotating through. This causes surges in the pace line and obviously as we've talked about that is really undesirable so overall just make sure you let people know when you're last. It's just an added touch that kind of helps things keep rotating instead of playing a little bit of a guessing game here. Most likely you're alert and you're paying attention but it is nice to know when you are the last rider in the group so that they can start slotting over. On top of that elbow flicks on the front are another great method of communication. Not everything has to be verbal. You can also use things like body language to allow people to fully understand when you're gonna go ahead and rotate off into the slower moving train and when it's their turn to go ahead and pull through and take the front of the pace line. 
As a quick bonus tip, just remember that slow is smooth and smooth is fast, especially when we're talking about a pace line. All right, so number five, my last tip, and probably the most important, is never stop pedaling. Freewheeling is a no-no in a pace line, in my opinion, and you'll see a lot of the very experienced riders do exactly this. What happens is most of the experienced riders will maximize their efficiency and the efficiency of the group by softly just floating the pedals but keeping them moving at all times so that you can easily reapply the power when needed, especially if there's a surge or an acceleration. And this all goes back to keeping that pace line really tight. So keep an eye out on your next ride when people are pace lining and watch for those folks in the group that are constantly pedaling and not just relaxing and freewheeling. They're always power ready. Now, this translates directly to bike racing. So if you do have aspirations to race your bike, floating those pedals is very important and a pace line is a great place to practice that all right folks there you have it those are my five tips for pace lining i hope these help you out on your next group ride in your next race or really anytime you're out on the road and you link up with other riders and you're trying to be efficient and smooth and maybe hide from the wind a little bit i will see you guys again soon if you enjoyed this video go ahead and smash that like button for me take it easy